Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo for the BTN HD. And yes, we are finally going to uh, configure our penetration test lab within our Hyper-V manager. If you guys are doing it with VirtualBox or VMware Workstation or whatever, uh, so this is going to be the last three virtual machines that we need for our environment. So we can start doing a little bit of hacking and playing around with Kali and its many, many tools that it has. So first things first, I think on one of the videos and one of the little mini series with the penetration test lab set up, uh, I gave you all the links to download all these files. Now today we're going to configure our Windows 7, our Windows 8.1, and our Windows 10 virtual machines. It's the same process, so it's constantly just repeating itself. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Now, make sure that you download it. Each file, each container is about 2 or 3 gigs. They're pretty big virtual machines, okay? So we have a Hyper-V manager, and we're going to click on New. Click on virtual machine. We're going to get the virtual machine wizard. Click next here. Provide a name. Provide your generation. By default, I pick generation one. Give it some memory. Establish your connection. From here, we are going to pick use an existing virtual hard disk. And the reason why I'm picking that is because when I downloaded my Windows 7, my Windows 8.1, and Windows 10 on the Microsoft site, it actually allowed me to pick what type of container I wanted to download. So I picked Hyper-V. So it gave me a nice little VHDX file, and that's what I picked. Pretty simple. Click next here and finish. And I did the process two more times with the Windows 8 and also the Windows 10 VHDX files that I downloaded on the Microsoft site. And it's the same process. Now, what we're going to do is double click on the Windows 7 virtual machine. We're going to click on start. It's going to load up again. It already has Windows operating system already installed. You're just configuring it. They do provide you the username and password on the desktop because they have BG info installed onto it with all types of information on this computer. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do on the Windows 7 machine is locate Windows updates and I'm going to disable it. I want to disable Windows updates and also configure my uh, IP address to my NAT switch. Because remember, I configured a NAT switch within my Hyper-V manager and I need to provide an IP address. My Windows 7 machine is .13. Uh, I did the same thing with Windows 8. Again, double click on it, hit start, let it do its thing. And once it's completed, again, it's gonna load up to the desktop. The username and password for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 is the same. Username is IE user. And the password is password with the, the O becoming a zero and an exclamation point at the end. The same thing that I did on my Windows 7, I open up Windows updates and I change the settings to not update the machine. And I also configure the IP address because like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, we created a NAT switch within Hyper-V Manager and we need to provide IP addresses to our machine so I could talk to the network. Uh, for my Windows 8.1 machine, I provided .14. And finally, we have Windows 10, same process, right? Uh, we're going to disable updates or pause updates for the Windows 10 machine and then assign an IP address to it and it's going to be .15. And that's it guys, that is the completion of our penetration test lab. So far we have a Debian, Kali, Metasploit, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and a Windows 10 virtual machine. So let's get started with this whole hacking and using Kali's tools. I have so many things that I want to go over with Kali and the, the many, many, many tools that it has. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first five videos I've got to get you guys up and running and to follow along with the rest of the videos on this series. Hopefully you guys enjoy, leave comments right below, make sure to hit that like button, please subscribe, and don't forget about to share the video, all right, because it's going to get super exciting, especially when I start playing around with the many, many tools that Kali has, uh, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.